Shalom. It appears that I have um, started a firestorm of controversy and debate. Um, if anybody has seen the first uh, Messianic Netzari video, uh, they could look at the comments and see how many people has, has voiced their opinions and, and uh, has said uh, many things. First of all, I want to clarify that when I compared Messianics to Natsari, that um, I never intended to paint a picture with such a broad stroke. There's always exceptions to the rule. Um, I know that there are those out there who call themselves Messianic uh, believers or Messianic Jews, and they're nothing like the Baptist and Jewish clothes kind of people. They're more Netzari in the fact that they walk the Torah, they keep the Torah, they walk in the footsteps of Yeshua, our Messiah, by walking and following the Torah, but they choose to call themselves Messianic, and, and that's fine. Um, and there's some people who brought up some excellent points that uh, there's going to come a time when the labels that have been chosen have become so tainted, so polluted, so misused and abused and so tarnished uh, through bad examples that you're not going to be able to call yourselves by those labels anymore. And that's true. I think Christianity has reached its, has reached its point in that area. Um, used to, when you would say the, the name or the word Christian, uh, 50 years ago, um, there was there was a calm, a reverence, an awe, a respect, a a um, a desire to to reach and obtain. Um, it was held in, in in high regard, high esteem, and had a very good context because the people lived according to the scripture to the best of their ability. But the more people that have come to call themselves Christian whether you know through faith affiliation or just by name only because you were born in a Christian family the term has has been so broadened and so stretched that it is like an elastic that has been stretched out and has no more um, elasticity to snap it back to its original shape and form and it's worn out um, and it's like people get the wrong impression now when you say the word Christian. The, the thing that comes to mind to the general mass population and public now when you say Christian, the first thing that comes to people's minds is Jimmy Swagger, Jim Baker, Benny Hinn, um, you know, all these that have been caught in, in cultish uh, or money or sexual scandals. They think of Catholic priests who pray on little altar boys. They think of uh, these cults who, who practice polygamy and and 14 year old girls are having babies by 50 year old men and you know those are the things that run people through people's minds when they say Christian they just think of, of a street person that's a con artist just looking for a quick buck you know you have those that are the Billy Graham type that call themselves Christian then you have the Joel Olstein type that is like well um, you know you, you gotta have a good self esteem God wants you to feel proud of yourself and you know, and it's just a bunch of self-help, psycho babble, pop bubblegum, cotton candy crap. And you know what? I'll admit it. The term Netzari, Nazarene, Netzarene, is going in that direction. You you know, the, the, the more people that call themselves Netzarene, the more you find little splinter groups and little offshoots. Uh, of, of people, oh, well, you know, we're sacred name only. You don't say the sacred name, you're not saved. Or, you know, God is trying to reestablish polygamy in his holy people, so let's be all polygamists. And, and you get all these crazy, whacked out people who call themselves Netzarim. And I have more and more people come to me um, and talk about bad experiences that they've had with people who call themselves Messianic or Netzarim. And pretty soon, it's going to come to a point in time where... Let's just not label ourselves and call ourselves anything. And you know what? That's not such a bad idea. Um, you know, I'm getting to the point, you know how like Prince, because of a contract issue, couldn't call himself Prince anymore. So for there for a while, he was the artist formerly known as Prince, and he just had a little symbol that symbolized his name. 
that's the way it's going to become for believers. You know, it's just we're going to have to be no name. We're just going to be generic, just a blank sheet of paper, nothing on it. You know, because what it boils down to and what it's coming to, really what the crooks of it should have been all along, that should have given the labels that we have, sustenance, meat and meaning, is that actions speak louder than words. People are going to know who you are by what you do. By, not necessarily by what you say, you know, because, hey, talk is cheap. People are going to know you by what you do. In the scriptures, that's called fruit. People are going to know you by your fruit. Um, I'm not a big fan of the church fathers or Augustine or whatever, you know, whoever, but uh, I think it was Augustine that, that made a great and excellent quote and point. He said, um, you know, and I'm paraphrasing. Somebody may know the, the, the real quote, but something to the effect that, uh, you know, preach the gospel, but use words if necessary. You know, it's going to be about how we walk it out. And that's going to separate the sheep from the goats, the men from the boys, um, you know, the, the, the fake Christians from the real Christians, the fake Messianics from the real Messianics, the fake Nazarene from the real Nazarene. And that's what it's going to boil down to. So um, I just kind of thought I'd throw this out there kind of as a supplement to uh, what I said in the first video. So Shalom Shibuotov.